Yeah, we didn't make it to the end of the We're at night. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lines up from the bottom. Tan Rebbe Chia. Rebbe Chia said concerning Eov, "Hayali balomi goy echad tzadik." I had in my world one guy who was a tzadik. Nasati los chora. I gave him his reward. Uptarti me olami, and I and I uh, took him out of the world, which is a very strong language about Eov. That Eov was a guy, was a tzaddik. He got rewarded after all these sermons. He, he lived happily ever after, and then he was rejected from the rejected from the world. Very powerful statement. Hashem elakish amar Eov lohayev loasi lios. Eov never was and never will be. Chavashi tosi the Rebbe Shem elakish. Seems to be God shem 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 elakish. Tom at the beginning of the page, Amr Shemilak of Shimbar Kapara, Shimilat Sene Bar Kapara, be me Avram Avinoya, that he was in the days of Avram Avin. Here he says that he never was, existed. So it's a contradiction. So actually, in the Bavli, this resolution we're about to learn is not brought down. Very interesting resolution. This sheet is not in the Bavli, as I said. The Gemara says here, Ella Huhaya, the Surin Lohayu, the Sur of Lohayu. According to this, the Shat in the Ushalmi, the um, Eov existed, but he never underwent the Yisurim described to him in the Pasuk. In other words, all this is uh, like a, all this is a, depicting what Eov would have done or what he would have been like had he undergone the Yisurim. But he never actually underwent the Yisurim. So it's really fascinating because the Shita that Eov is, it was fictitious altogether, that is in the Bavli. But the Shita that Eov really existed, and this is all, you know, a, uh, Alternate reality type scenario: What would have happened had he undergone the Yisurim? That's not in the Bible. The Ushami is the only one, as far as I know, from Prozac. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. Okay. What about all the? But just because the Shaykh gets char for and uh, all, all sorts of things for things that he didn't actually do. Well, the Sukkim are all made up. All papers and all the rest of Okay. Actually, it's academic whether EO, according to this last sheet, of whether EO ever existed or didn't exist. The Yisurim didn't, according to the Yisurim, yeah. don't exist anyway. Yisurim don't exist. No, but there was such, no, it tells us, though, it's a very big Musar Hasko then. It tells us that Sadiqim are, are, you know, are given schar, even if they would, didn't undergo Yisurimus, as if they would undergo those Yisurimus. Which is a good, which is a good, very interesting perspective. In other words, whatever level of tzitkus you achieve, you're granted all the rights and privileges of that level of tzitkus, even if you didn't undergo all the nisyonis necessary in order to actually prove it in real life. Which is a big chesed. I think that that's really what it's come to say. Okay? Um, uh, that's to say, v'lom love, eloi mashi love. Where the, why the written upon was certain tells us where these certain have come upon them, upon him, or Yochulam, but then he would have been able to withstand it. You may have mentioned it, I'm sorry, because you walked away. This strange language of the field of the most awesome people. Yeah, I think it's just poetic license. Do you have any deal you want to make in that? No. No, I think it's poetic license. I think it's poetic license. Uh, you're right. It's an interesting point, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if to take it literally. Torah Shabbi Akiva, Akiva Dashin, Vayichar Af Eliu Ben Brachel Abuzi Mishpachas Ram. This is one of Eliu's friends who got upset at him. So he says, Eliu is a Bilam. Eliu is Bilam. Ben Brachel. Why is it called Ben Brachel? Shabar Lekalas Yisrael because he came to curse Jewish people. Uvirchan and said he gave them bracha. The law of Hashem Lokech Lishma Bilam. It says. Uh, Hashem listen Bilam Vayafo Chesa Kloli Vracha. He turned the Klol to a Bracha. Abuzi, why was he called Abuzi? Shaisa Nevuah So Bzuya, because Nevuah was degraded. Rabbi was a degrading experience for him. Like it says, Noifel he would fall Uglienaim, and his eyes would be uncovered, meaning that um, Nevuah by him is kind of a negative experience, in that uh, he had to fall and. Gravel, and uh, only that way he received his revelation. So Chazal say because he was an RL, he couldn't get in the in a proper way. He had to get in the so to speak, through the back door. 
So Mishpachas uh, Rom, he was from the family of Rom. What does that mean? Mean Arami Achini Bolok. It says our Bolok took it from Aram. So interesting response for Biyakiva got here. Amle Elazar Ben Azayev Elazar Ben Zayezu said, no matter what you did wrong, in who who, if Eli was Bilam, so Kvar Kiso Love Amokum already. Kodesh Baruch Hu covered up for him and didn't identify Eliyahu with Bilam. So what right did you have to go reveal a secret? Being Mesu, and if it's not Bilam, Asilis Vakechim called this, Eliyahu is going to get pretty angry with you, Lossi Lava. He's going to say, you called me a Bilam? Gee, thanks. Right? So therefore he says, Eliyahu was not a bad guy like Bilam, of course. Rather, Zay Yitzchak. He was Yitzchak. You took a vino, I assume. Um, the Ben Brach El, he was the son of the Brach of Akosh Baruch Hu. Ben Shibir Chokel, Shadema it says, Vayva Chayu Hashem. I know I said, I assume. It's uh, Yitzhak Avinu. Hashem blessed him. Abuzi, what does it mean? Abuzi, Shabiza Kobati Avadizora, Mishua Shnega Al Gavis Bech. He embarrassed all the house of Avadizora when he was placed on top of his Bech, meaning he demonstrated that uh, we have a serious nefesh equivalent, if not greater to that of the Goyim, who are to do human sacrifice, we could do it too if we had to. Mishpachas Rom, from the family of Rom, Ben Avrom, from the, from the family of Avrom. Period. Moshe Kosov, Chamisha Sivitar, Moshe wrote five books of Torah, the Chazav Kosov, Parshas Baal Kabilam, and he wrote the Parsha Baal Kabilam, the cuss of Steve Shoyov and he also wrote Sefer Yov is also in Bavli. Ish Tom Vyoshar, getting back to Yov, Ish Tom Vyoshar, Yov was a whole person, a straight person, very keen, fearful of God. The saw me on, he stayed away from evil. Amitari, Tachliva Kesari, Tachliva Kesari said, Shoyov Vatron, he would freely give of his money. That's what it means, Samir, I would stay away from bad traits and give money wherever necessary. It sounds like somebody who's not a vatra and doesn't really give his money is not kosher. It sounds like who's a sur may ra point you? Only a person gives up his money. So it sounds like a person who doesn't give money generously is not considered a sur may ra. Is that true? Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 no, birds can be a kosher even if they don't give so much money to the stock, as long as they give, I guess, the necessary amount. Rather, what does it mean that he was sar ra? He would turn away when somebody spoke evil about him. Right? Shevat HaKalas, if somebody uh, said a negative thing, a uh, curse about him, so he would actually turn away from that and not respond in any way, shape, or form. And it says, Lahavdil, about Yoshka. You know, turn the other cheek, right? He would, uh, he would turn away from it. Okay. Anjok Shem Shemayim. Anjok Shem Shemayim Boykin. Okay, back to Saita. Misha Kine Love and Isra. Some, a, a woman who underwent Kinui and then Stira. Now I'm learning this mission the way the Mars is going to explain it, although it's not so simple. There was Kinoi and Stira. And then he heard a rumor, even from a flying bird, which is not, not to be taken literally, but he heard a rumor, He can't give her to drink. So she underwent Kinoi, she underwent Stira, and then he heard a rumor that she actually was, was Tommy. She actually was Nivola. So he's got to divorce her and give a ksuva di Rabbi Lezer. No choice. Um, he can't make a drink, but he can't deprive her of her ksuva. Critical drunk, critical, critical distinction. She, normally, she doesn't drink, she doesn't get her ksuva. But in this case, since he heard that she was Tmea, he said, but there's no definitive witnesses, so therefore he has to give her ksuva. And we show man, that's not enough. The lunatics have to talk about her. The lunatics, the Muzars are women who weave by the light of the moon, and that's the time for gossip. 
It says before the telephone, so people actually had to be physically present in order to gossip. So once they start talking, only once they start talking in such a venue do I say they're actually um, they're actually um, is enough uh, uh, evidence to go on that he has to divorce her, or give her ksuva, and not allow her to drink. There's two common terms that are in this Mishnah. Uh, a little birdie told me. Right. And lunatic. Right, right, right. That's exactly the point. Yeah, but it could be that go, everything comes from here. Um, the, uh, uh, the the Corbinator says that once you heard from an oak poreach, you're no longer allowed to give it to drink. The Bnei Moshe says that you don't want to give it to drink. Bnei Moshe is a little bit difficult. I think I'm really carbon eight is correct. That once you heard from the old prayer, you're no longer allowed to give it to drink. And therefore, you have to divorce her and give her ksuva. That's not clear to me. Maybe Bnei Moshe is correct. Maybe it's about to hear that when you hear from the old prayer, then you no longer want to give it to drink. At that point, you don't want to give it to drink, but you still have to give the ksuva as a result. Okay. Now, a bit as it may, says tomorrow. Now, this Gemara, there's a lot of um, Mephoshim, as you can see here, the Ribas. This is just the tip of the iceberg on this page. It goes on and on and on. But um, the, uh, the lot of Mephoshim on, on what the Gemara means. Uh, actually, we're going to learn the Gilead of Rhyme, who makes just one gear to change the whole entire Gemara and makes it work out fine. Um, uh, Rabbi Elisha Rabbiana said, Kohen Pirka, this whole parak is talking about Mishahi Slaba. He gave her a warning, meaning Kinoi. And also, well, which is, he said, do not seclude yourself with so and so. And Mishakine love and Istira. Besides the Kinoi, he also had Stira. So we have both Kinoi and Stira. And afterwards, Adim came on the Tumor. Okay, is that clear? So our parent is talking about there was Kinoi, there was Stira, and Adim came on the Tumor. Okay, that's how uh, uh, Rabbi Yochanan learns the case. Now, uh, this is very important, the point that the Gillian Ephraim makes. Um, this is not like Basil. Because Hill Basil holds, in our case, our mission is not going to Basil, because Basil holds. You know, Machlok is back with Beishamai in the previous paragraph, the second thing in the second paragraph. If she has Kinui and Stira, and then the husband drops dead, so she doesn't get a Ksuba. By the fact that her husband died, she wasn't even divorced. She doesn't get her ksuva. Why? Because once kinu and stira occur, in order to get your ksuva, you must undergo drinking of the soto waters. If you don't undergo that, you can't restore your ksuva. Because those kinu and stira, the the burden of proof, so to speak, is against the woman. However, in this mishnah, obviously we're disagreeing because they're saying here that after kinu and stira and after them. Some indication of Toma came, she still gets her ksuva afterwards. Okay, it's a critical point. This Mishnah is arguing our previous Mishnah as we had in the parent, our previous, uh, a machla, a previous thing we had in Nebe Sil. Again, Nebe Sil holds, if Kidu and Stira occur, then she can never get her ksuva again unless she undergoes the sota drinking. According to our Mishnah, if Kidu and Stira occur, and then some external impediment, and even one which indicates that she's more guilty because of Tuma occurs, she still can't get her ksuva ever again. So far, so good? Okay. So it says, well, that's, that's her Yochan's interpretation. The truth is that we're talking about according to Rishim Lakish. Our mission can be talking about even in a case where the, the Ofa Pareach, hearing the little birdie told me, is a case where the little birdie told me about the stira, not about the tumor. And even then, the little birdie told me about the stira, I can, at that point, I cannot, I, uh, I cannot give her the salty waters to drink. Okay? Um, it says, Umara. What about the ksuba? Well, I uh, want oh, she also gets the ksuba. She also gets the ksuba. What does it explain? Rabbi, um, Rabbi Zir Kumi, Rabbi Zir said in front of Rabbi Yasa, what is Shimon Lakish Pali? It's not every Shimon Lakish argues. Whereas he holds that, of course, Rabbi Yochan's din is true. That if there was Kinui in front of Adim and Steer in front of Adim, and then there was uh, an Ofa Porech about the Tuma, then she gets divorced and she doesn't drink, and she gets her Ksuba. So it's not the argument. El Asavra, he takes a step further, though. Kain Tanya, he holds like the Brat Tana, which he had early in the Mesechta, who make of Adim Stira, who says that. 
80 stira don't have to be 80 stira mamish. That even if you heard her from an ofa poreach about the stira, that's enough to uh, require it to divorce her, but you still have to give her ksuva. Okay, you still have to give her ksuva, that's a key point. In other words, if you, if you have to, 80 mamish on the stira, which the burden of proof shifts to her. In order for her to get her ksuva, she has to actually have drink the soda waters to quote unquote prove that she's Tyra. But if she, there aren't any, it's just an Ofa Pareach, so then on the one hand you must divorce her, on the other hand, you don't give it to her. Okay? Yeah, I mean, you do give it to her, sorry. She doesn't lose it to her. Okay? Says the Gemara, Anatina Machlokis. There are those who learn our Mishnah as a Machlokis, as we saw in our Mishnah. Indeed, it's Machlokis, Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Lez, and Rabbi Yeshua. East Tani, However, the East Tani, Tani Stam, to those who learned as a Stam Mishnah. And the way they learned according to Gideon their prime is they actually took out Rabbi Lezer Shita. And they read it kind of like this. And they, they read it, Misha Kine Love and Easter, I'm looking back at the Mishnah. So they learned the way Kine Stira, uh, uh, Misha Yisu Ba, Muzaras, Muzaras Silvana, Misha Yisu Vitna Ba, Muzaras Silvana, once the lunatics talk about her, the OTV thinks Suva, he, she has to, he has to divorce her and give her Suva. So actually, we're talking about those who learn at Stam, just simply eliminated from the Mishnah, the Sheet of Rabbi Lezer. Okay? Which says that it goes by Ufa Prech. No, the El Dafka has to be a good time when, uh, the Muzars Bilvana were talking about her. And then, we say that, um, then we say, OTV thinks Suva. Um, uh, so, what's the difference between a, a, a birdie and a lunatic? What? But according to this, there's no. It's more a glam over. It's more a glam over. Um, the uh, if you uh, the Rigbazir brings out the Raman Paskins that after Kina and Stira, Muzaris Bulvana were only Muzaris Bulvana, like we're the mission to finish that mission. Only Muzaras Bulvana work in order to bring about a scenario where she doesn't have to drink the water, but she still gets her ksuba. Okay? Um, he says that, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. And uh, the Ramam, according to Rid Bas, the Ramam got his aloha from the Ushami here. It was the Ramam learns that the, the, the Adam came after Kinev Astira, the not Adam who came on the Astira itself. That's like Kushamu says, Muzaras Bilvana is subsequent to the Kina and Stira. Okay, Amra Vizira, bottom line on Amra, Amra Vizira, Kina and Mana, Amra Vizira, standing in front of Rabbi Mana. Lo Amad Rabbi Lezer, Amra Rabbi Yoshua, Polik. Actually, actually, I'm not sure if that's the way to punctuate it. Way of Tari's punch is, Lo Amad Rabbi Lezer, Amar. Rabbi Yeshua Polik. Rabbi Lez is not arguing that which Rabbi Yeshua said. Rabbi Lez who said it's the, the, uh, the, the, um, the bird. And Rabbi Yeshua said it's the lunatics. So they don't argue. Rather, and here the, the Gun of Rai makes one, one change. He takes out the word Ella. Begin, uh, uh begin to think of Rabbi Yeshua Mer Achi Yisu Vietnu Ba Muzars Bilvana. It's a continuation then, according to the Gillian of Rhyme. He says that, um, since I'm sure it requires eight in Mamish on the Stira, right? It's only on the Tumor you don't require eight in Mamish. And you can't say that the end of Mish, the, you can't say the end of Mish is going on Stira. Like, like you possibly want to say in the Ratio. Um, you want to say, Rish Lakish wanted to say, that in the Ratio, we're talking about, we're talking about Rebbe Lezer, we're talking about even the Stira. But Rabbi Lezer holds that the steer is even going. In order to have Adis on the steer, you don't need Adis Mamish. You just need to have even a little birdie told me that the steer took place. That's why Rabbi Shlok is just put on the Mishnah. Not like Rabbi Yochan. Not the argument that depends on Rabbi Yochan. Rabbi Yochan holds that the aid we're talking about here is an aid out of Tuma after Kinu and Stira. Rabbi Shlok says can we talk about the aid of Stira and that an Eifa Pareach is enough of an aid of Stira. But at that point, um, you actually uh, have to uh, divorce her and give her a ksuba. Okay? So in any event, so now, now the Gemara says, 
Again, law mother Rabbi Lezer Amar Rabbi Yeshua Polik. Not but that which Rabbi Lezer said, Rabbi Yeshua does not argue. Begin the Tnina because we learned Rabbi Yeshua Mer Ad Shi Yisu Ba Mutzar Yisu Vitnu Ba Mutzar Zavara until the lunatic starts speaking about it. So he says that 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 last statement of Yeshua is clearly going on the uh, the um, the Tuma. Why is that one second? Oh, for a very simple reason. Okay, which is not put down in a Gemara. Of course, for a very simple reason, which to get in the frame brings down, which I've written aside in my Gemara, which is Rabbi Yeshua holds Dafka for 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 Rabbi Yeshua holds you need that for um, you need a day stira. Eighty mamish. So the ratio. Too bad there's no board in this room, but you have to pick this in your mind's eye. The ratio is a case, is to have been Rabbi Lezer. In Rabbi Lezer does not require eighty months stira. So in that case, Rabbi Shlokish could say, according to Rabbi Lezer, you need eighty months kinui, but at stira, if I pray, is enough, right? Because you don't need eighty months stira. In Rabbi Yeshua. Because Rabbi Shu holds you need eighty months stira, there Rish Lakish cannot say shtikul teira. There is got to concede to Rabbi Yechanan because there you have to have eighty months kinui and eighty months stira. And if Uzar's bilvan is enough, it's not enough for the kinui and the stira. It must be enough only for the tumah which comes after the kinui and stira. Okay, so that which Rish Lakish uh, again Rish Lakish didn't argue Rabbi Yechanan, but what he meant and was qualifying. All he meant to say is that in Rabbi Eliezer, who holds you don't need eight in Mamish for the stira, the eight and of HaPoyreach, which comes along, is enough to make you give you testimony on the stira. Okay? In Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Shu, however, he can't say that, because Rabbi Shu is the one who holds eight in stira for Mamish eight. So if you rely on something like Muzar's Bilvana, it's only for the concept of Tuma afterwards. Okay? So far, so good? Yeah, to me afterwards to prevent her from drinking and allow her to go out with the ksuba, right? To undermine the chi of Havashka. The thing is like this, what, what, what's now going through my mind, which I'm not 100% clear on, is, um, no, I am 100% clear on, let me rephrase it, I'm 100% clear on it, I just don't fully understand it, is that uh, according to Avi Lezer, right, in Karn Rabbi Shlakish's pshat, they were talking about the steer itself in Rabbi Lezer. Karn Rabbi Yochanan always talked about the tuma after steer. But I did mention this before. Karn Rabbi Lezer, Karn Rabbi Shlakish, have eight him on the kinui. On the steer, you have no eight him. You just have an oif ha'poyach. But that is enough. It should be enough. It should be enough to get her to go drink. But our mission says fakelt. It says that that's enough to get her off the hook that she doesn't have to drink. So that's something which I don't know if I emphasized enough before. That norm, uh, that, that it seems that according to Reish Lakish of Shana Mishnah, that in Rabbi Lezer, the Oifa Poreach could be going on the steer, of course, not Rabbi Yeshua. Rabbi Yeshua holds the Eidim Mamish on the steer. But in Rabbi Lezer, the Oifa Poreach could be going on the steer. So it seems that if the Oifa Poreach is, is, is what tells us about the steer, she doesn't drink. But she doesn't have, but she doesn't lose her ksuva. Why is that? Because I guess in order to put her in the state where she loses her ksuva unless she drinks, there's gotta be some semblance of validators. Some semblance doesn't mean aidus mamish, but it means not oifa parech. Cause that's just rumor and innuendo. So therefore must be that that's a, in Rich Lurk, he's just shot in right below the fact. When do we, what, when, when I say stira doesn't require valid aids, it only requires one aid. Maybe women are enough. But, and then, if we reach that stage where we had stira in front of one aid, or in front of women, one women, so then she loses her ksuva unless she goes to drink. But if we only know the stira because of oifa porech, which means real woman innuendo, so then, she can't drink and she doesn't lose her ksuva and he just divorces her with her ksuva. Cause it's a catch 22. To drink, she can't drink because they're not a proper atus on the stira. 
even on the level which is really the minimal level of one eight. But to not to lose a ksuva, she can't lose a ksuva because we don't have true this on the stira, right? Because it's only rumor and innuendo. So it's an interesting situation because she doesn't, she's not guilty enough to drink, nor not guilty enough, and, and nor is she guilty enough to lose her ksuva in that case. According to Shlach, she's shot in Rabbi Lezer. Okay? Yeah, in Rabbi Yeshua, she is guilty enough to drink. Yeah. Because she didn't have Because she didn't have two Because we have to wait him. Yeah. Right, because there is Lachish couldn't say he's tickled her. That's where, exactly what I'm saying. That's here. Let's see inside again. Lo amar de Rabbi Lezer, lo amar de Rabbi Lezer, amar Rabbi Yeshua Poli. According to Rish Lachish, not in that which Rabbi Lezer is saying is Rabbi Yeshua arguing. Right, because Rabbi Lezer is talking about, according to Rabbi Rish Lachish, even on the stila to have oifa polech. And Rabbi Yeshua holds by the stila, you need to have to wait him, Right. And therefore, begin there. Rabbi Shmuel made a chiz of eating the bar muzaris bilvana. So, for that case, when are muzaris bilvana enough? Not for the stira, obviously, but only for a potential tumma afterwards. When this potential tumma, of course, in this case, is to her benefit in that yotzev thinks so. Okay, I make it make that make that clear. Rabbi Abba Mari boy tamon. Actually, I that's don't push away correctly. Rabbi Abba Mari boy. Rabbi Abba Mari. Boy, yes, question. Tom and Rabbi Chizki over there. Rabbi Chizki said, "Rei Avo Shem Lezer said, 'Kol Makom Shoshana Rabbi Machlokes the Chazer Shoshana Stam.' Every time Rabbi brought down Machlokes, later brought down a Stam Mishnah. Halacha Kistam, and here Halachas like Stam. The Kol Marachet, and here does he say? How do? What does he say? Now, actually, there's so many different interpretations as to what the the, the Machlokes and Stam is here. It can drive you crazy." But uh, it seems that it did not drive me crazy, or maybe it did. But here I am tonight, to, to, uh, living to tell the tale. So in any event, the way I learn it's like the Gillian Ephraim. Basically, my mahalach in Yushami has become whatever there's a Gillian Ephraim. I keep take the Gillian Ephraim and uh, use it. Gillian Ephraim is not on the bottom of the page; it's on the back in the back of the Gemaras. But he's a relatively late achron. He's from the 1920s, and uh, he seems to have had a good grasp of Yushami. Uh, so in any event. Um, so he says, the machlokes, machlokes, b'sil mishama. B'sil mishama and a machlokes, where a woman, dra- a woman was kinu in stira, and her husband dropped dead, where she gets, uh, ksuva. And b'shama says, yeah, because she, she doesn't have to drink, she gets ksuva. And so he says, no, till she drinks, she doesn't get a ksuva. Hi, she can't drink. And no chanami, she loses a ksuva. Our Mishnah is a stam Mishnah. Even if you learn that it's Pakistan Mishnah, you take out uh, Rabbi Lezer's statement, like the Gemara proposed on Chav Vav Or well, even if you have both Rabbi Lezer and Rabbi Yeshua, they both agree on this point. That if it's a case where you can't give her to drink, then Yoytivi thinks Ula. So it's a Stam Mishnah. In other words, there's no Machlokas in Mishnah, that both are under the assumption that if it's a, if it's a case where, like Rabbi Yochanan, you have Kino, Steer, and then Eide Tuma, or like Rabbi Shlokish in Rabbi Lezer, even Kinui and Stira Ba'ifa Poreach. No, I said that wrong. Like Rabbi Yochan, if it's case Kinui and Stira, and then either Oifa Poreach or Nashi Muzaros Bilavana, saying that there was Tuma. Or according to Rishlokish Rabbi Lezer, even if you just had Kinui and then Oifa Poreach and Stira, in both those cases, she doesn't drink. She cannot drink, but she doesn't lose a Kuma nonetheless. Okay? So the Maisa, we in fact passed them with this. We don't pass them with this. The Rambam Paskins, if a woman was in this situation, you know, she, um, she had Kinui, she had Stira, and then Adam came, even in Muzaz Bivana, Eifa Pereach, and said that uh, she had uh, Tuma. So, you might see, he takes the Okay, so the Paskins, like our Mishra, over Beso. Says the Gemara, now, a side point, a grammatical point. Anatina Mutsaros. Those who learned the Mishnah should say Mutsaros. We study Tani Mutsaros, those who learned Mutsaros. Madamar Muzum Mutsaros. Matsuramar, they're carding wool. You know what carding means? Cleaning the wool. Yeah, cleaning the wool. Okay? Don't, don't you know your American history? No. No? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Man Amar uh, Muzoros. He was said Muzoros. Shazun Kitan, the Muzoros means to, to knit, and they're knitting linen. Manakir. 
There's more. What are you talking about? In behind the Shama of Allah, Yad, I mean, man, Shama, what are Nashi Muzaros? If we hear something we don't know from whom we hear it, that's the definition of Koyfa Parechu. Words, if, if the Nashi Muzaros is saying, we heard, did you hear Sprinza, what, what Gitlo said yesterday? So that would be, uh, actually better. That wouldn't be Koyfa Parech. However, it could be that Sprinza said something without knowing where she heard it from. She said, rumors are flying. So that's all the So what's the machleg is between Rabbi Shun and Rabbi Lezim? So it says Gemara, "Vim behind the shama, me manch, im behind the shama, vice versa." If Sprints are heard, if you are the manch shama, she knows she heard from Gita, then can aid me piedu. That's better. That's not Nashim Muzar Tzavana. That's an aid me piedu. I heard from somebody who has first hand knowledge. El Kenek Yom. We this story about like this. The way the when Nashim Muzar Tzavana say. Plenty, me plenty. I heard from Sprinter, and Sprinter heard from Gita. Or plenty, me plenty. Gita heard from Bela, and Mila delays me Talmayas, but there has no foundation. Meaning, you can't get back to the source of the rumor. That's not Shemuzar's Bilvana. So, if I parech, the definition of the the metaphor of Alpha parech means there's no way of attributing it back to anybody. The definition of the metaphor of the um, the uh, Nashim Zaras, you can attribute it back, but you'll never get to the source. Okay? Now, let's look at this for in this vein. One eight, so I saw that she was Tome. Loisa, she wouldn't, she wouldn't, she wouldn't drink. Even ever, a Shifcha prevents her from drinking in this case. But here's the key. In these situations, where it's an Evid or a Shivcha, so they're believed after the place of the This is like a, this is a higher Madrego. If it's an Eid Echad, not Noshim Muzaras Bilvana, not of El Parech, but he says, I saw her being dummy. And not necessarily with that Kinu and Steer, it could be a different time, as long as it's the same guy. I saw her being dummy, then she loses a Ksuba. So the whole first mission is talking about a case where they didn't see, they didn't see her, they're just rumor and innuendo and schmoozing about her. Gossip. But here it's talking about where the guy actually saw. In this case, she loses her ksuva mamish. Okay? Says, more chamoisu, bas chamoisu, except for five women. Chamoisu, her mother law. Bas chamoisu, her sister law. Tarosa, her co wife. Vivimta, her co yevama. Ubas bala, and her, her husband's daughter, her stepdaughter. Hareilun and Monas, in that case, they're believed. They're believed what though? To prevent it from drinking. But Lola the post of Miksuvasa Amru. They didn't say they believed to make it with Suva Ella Shalotish only that she shouldn't drink. You know why? Because these women hate her guts. They're out to get together. So it's enough that she doesn't drink, but not enough to cause her to lose her Suva. Even if they say, We saw that she was Mizana, it's not enough to allow her to lose her Suva. Okay? Says the Mav eight ain't ba. Yeah, this is the derivation. I don't know. It doesn't say Minani Mili, but I don't do Shami, I don't use that larger. Usually it says Mike Kadun, but it doesn't say that here either. Vain ain't but. It says, when does she drink if there's no aid against her? But if there is an aid against her, then she doesn't drink. Ain't the, excuse me, ain't the yellow aid. How we know that it's about where there's no aid against her? Minai, I feel ever, I feel Shifcha, even if it's ever a Shifcha against her, then she doesn't drink. Tamalomer, if her aid ain't ba, it's like ain't ba, you know, like we have by Yavama. Check out any possible uh, d- descendant she has. Here too, it's the same thing. Check out whatever possible knowledge anybody has, mikomakom, no matter what kind of knowledge there is. So if there's an aid, mikomakom against her, even an evan or shivcha, she, lo- she, j- she doesn't drink, she loses her ksuva and she goes out. Okay? But what about Kurdish Shema? The Rabbi Shema, my Rabbi said a generic principle. Come, Mokim Shinem Abater. Eight times it says her eight stop. It says eight without attribution. Harel be Klaus Neidim. It's considered to be two eight. Actually, if I shall cause a shway down, so the Pasuk says it's one eight. So if that's the case here too, Vade and Bunch should mean there's no two eight him against her. But if there is only one aid against her, then maybe she does drink. And she does, she, she does lose the ksuva, of course. So it says the Gemara, the Ashkartani, Rabbi Shimon Mishnah Aid, Take, Enochnami, Korah Rabbi Shimon, if there aren't two aid a tumah against her, she still drinks. 
right? And uh, and if in such a case uh, she doesn't drink for some reason, she she gets her ksuba, okay? Because uh, uh, the only one the two aim doesn't prevent her from drinking, okay? Hashem Shmuel Meshnei says Umarim Mas Nisa Ar Meshnei Shno. Now I'm going to learn this like the Shari Teres Yisrael because it makes the most sense according to Allah. It says say Mishnah Rabbi Kila Etar from the reverse. Our our, our Mishnah is. Uh, because all the shots Rabbi Tarfan agrees to Rabbi Akiva. Tarfan says, Akiva, call Persian, call Persian, call He always gives Shvachim to Rabbi Akiva. So I think the Armish is talking about, uh, uh, after Rabbi Tarfan can see Rabbi Akiva. What's the case? The time Rabbi Tarfan, Rabbi Tarfan says, Hey, Echonemo, the time I saw one, it is believed to say she's tummy, Vain Echonemo, I've seen the Xavasa, but not to cause her to lose her Xuva. Which is not our Mishnah, because our Mishnah says, the Eidech is believed to lose, cause lose of Ksuba. Rabbi Akiva, man, not true. Like our Mishnah, Rabbi Akiva says, Kashem Sheidech on Nemo the Tamoisa. Just like one witness is believed to make her Tame, Kach Eidech on Nemo the Asida Mikzubasa. So to one witness is believed to make her lose of Ksuba. Amal Rabbi Tarf, Rabbi Tarf said, Echom at Sinu Eidech on Bimom and Klum. This is Dine Mominus. You want to make her lose her ksuva? Where does one aid work by Dine Mominus? It's no such thing, right? So how does this work? Amr al Rabbi Akiva, Akiva said, No vecha matzinu leid echon veishas ish klum. Yeah, how come she's also to her husband? Where do we find the aid echon works by ishas ish either? How many women, how many aid witnesses do you need to ask a woman to her husband? Two, right? So, Ella, rather, the Tego here, this is the key. The Torah gave special nemonus to an eight echon. Right? The eight ain't ba. But if there's even one eight against her, so she's considered to be tamea. That's what we say here. So the Torah gave special nemonus. El kashem she eight echon nema tamoitza. Kach eight echon nema avsirok suvosa. Because the one eight is believed to say she's tamea, so to one eight is believed to lose the lose of suva, cause the lose of suva only uniquely here in the Dini Mamanu pertains to Saita. Now, of course, the cop out in all this is Ksuvah's the Rabban, so they can say whatever they want. That's basically what they did here, right? They said that, yeah, okay, if we believe in aid, one aid to render her Tame, so I believe that one aid also to cause a lose of Ksuvah. Okay? Says Mar, and again, I'm going to change the Shara Terrors to Israel, Chaz Rabbi Tam Leoshona Krabi Akiva. Rabbi Tavan learned like Kadit, learned like Rabbi Akiva, which is that in fact, uh, with these eight him other than the ones who hate her guts, she loses her ksuba. Okay? Right, boom, boy. Now all the Mephoshim go crazy. Why the Rama does not bring down his following case? So you're saying that one, one, we're leaving that one aid was sufficient? Yes. Why well, is sufficient to get her to consider be tame, not to drink, and to lose her ksuba, except one of those five ones. But one aid mamish, not noshi muzars bilvana or ofa parech. In that case, she doesn't drink, but she still retains her ksuba. Okay? Rabu Machi Aboy, Rabu Machi asked the question. Chamoisa Shamani Reisu Shnit Meis. This is a Gaval de Gakasha. The mother in law came and said, I saw her beat on me, right? So, of course, she retains her ksuva, right? She doesn't really change the ksuva. Uboech. But then, another, a real witness came and said, it can even be a woman, of course, as long as not one of these five women. Varmei says, Ani Reisu Shnit Meis. I saw she became Tamea. So, does she ma so it says my top man mama rap the chops on rap my boy was it gonna testify he must go so if to prevent her from drinking for an year she always told she really was prevented from drinking for the by the chamoisa el lo ba lafsida mi ksuvasa he was coming obviously only according to me mafsid or ksuva but she mafsid mom rap yed echa but then we just learned that you're not mafsid mom based on one witness so is he effective or not now let's step back. The, the Ribas is a whole arichus here, as you can see in fine print, and it comes out with tremendous condition, which I don't fully understand. But I want to I, I want to uh, put it in simple terms. The Gemara's the Gemara is clear. The Gemara's clear is like this. Gemara said, um, "This is not not in Farshim, but This is my explanation." The Gemara says that the Gemara is saying, "Look, we have a principle that by soita, eight echod is like two. 
It's a unique case, right? Eight ain't blood means even if there's one eight against her, it's like two which is considered be tomato. That's what we keep so right with Tarfa. Special zero so close to here, one eight is considered like two. So the more is clear is is that all the eight will come or just the first eight who comes? When the Torah granted special Nemonis like two, two one, is that only for the first one to come or any aid who comes on the scene? And that's not coming here. If you owe it only to the first aid who comes, so the mother in law would have had that Nemonis. And had she not been the mother in law, she would have caused the FC Ksuba. But now she's the mother in law, she doesn't cause the FC Ksuba. So therefore, a second aide who comes, even if it's a legitimate male aide or a woman who doesn't hate this woman's guts, she, the second aide array doesn't have an like two. And therefore, she can't lose her ksuva. Because he's only like a kedechor. But if you're going to say that, no, the fact that the Torah gave Nemonis to the first aide by Soito tells us that the uh, Torah gives Nemonis credibility to an eight echad as if it's nine by Saita, so maybe that tells us even the second eight who comes. Even though he's not essential in this respect to, to, to prevent her from drinking, he too has Namonis Kishnaim and therefore she will lose Uksuba. Okay, do you see the Gemara's clear question is? Except the die has been cast by the first eight who happens to be the mother in law. So right. once that, that die has been cast, the mindset of uh, the based in or the uh well the second aid is not going against the first aid he's confirming the set for a set no but it's also but it's changing the mindset as far as the soup is concerned right so do you so which way which no, I'm, I'm supporting what you're okay. saying okay okay right but the mindset is since uh they're they're giving her a because the mother-in-law came first yeah then they don't change their mind anymore Right. Even though a legitimate income. Right. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like uh, once based in Paskins, they can't actually go back no. and change the time. There could be another uh, perspective on the same idea. Okay. The second aid, though, the issue is whether the second aid has a Nemonis like two ratings. Right. Not combined with the mother. Oh, that, that's what Baz wants to say. But Baz, in this long article season, he wants to say. But you can't combine? Yeah, that. but he wants to bring Rias. I don't know. I, I, I was too lazy to go out in small print, right? But So uh, he wants to bring Rias that you there's sometimes you can't combine a, a woman and a man, even though it's a woman who's also a mother in law here. Very schwer with Baz. You can't combine two men if they come separate. Yeah, okay. I'm just telling you what the Red Baz wants to no, do. I mean, uh, right, but he wants to over. He, he, try, he goes through all those things and shows how. But he thinks it's not relevant here. But you see, it took him a long, long time to do it. Because this is just the tip of the iceberg you see in the front of it out. And basically goes on and on and on. So, uh, I, I think my mouth is much simpler. He talks about that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sure. Well, more power to the root bias. Okay. So, so, so now, so now, now more tries to resolve it. The thing is, the resolution itself is ambiguous. Rabbi Yossi Boy. Rabbi Yossi asked. Rabbi Yossi asked like this. Shem, I mean, if I pareach, where you heard from a flying bird, anirei siya shenit meis, we, um, I saw our bitame. Okay, so rumor and innuendo. Back to the first Mishnah. Right? Um, uh, uh, Omar, we say, at Omar, you said, lo yisit, lo yisit, she wouldn't drink. Uboech, now somebody else comes. This is really the same question, just a different perspective. Uh, Rabbi Yosef's question, same question, Rabbi Boom Barchia. Instead of using a mother, he uses Oif HaParech. Because Oif HaParech doesn't cause a loss of Ksuba. Same idea, right? So, Shana Oif HaParech, it's not yet the resolution. I may say it's his resolution. It's still a variation on the question. Uvaech, and a second guy comes from and says, Anir is here, Shnit Mesa, Sosh became Tome. Ma Baloi. Well, the second guy comes to be testified. In Lash Kais, if he's coming to make a drink, fire in your shop. So she already obviously is not suitable to drink. The only is coming to cause the loss of suva. What do we say here? Shem I've seen moment up here. Echad. Or do we say no? Even the second eight has their monas kishnai. Now the mother tries to bring a proof. Mima the 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 Rabbi Yosi Omar, not Rabbi Yosi. What's his name there? Whoa. Maybe it's Rabbi Yosi. I think it's Rabbi Yosi though. Mima the Yosi Omar. Rabbi Shua brings down a case. Uh, I'm not sure who it is, but it's elsewhere in Shas. Plainly, Achal Chelav. It's a case. Rabbi Shua, I guess, is the, the, the Tana. It might even be Rabbi Yochanan. I really don't know who it is. 
for whoever it is. He says, my the Dari Omar plenty of Khalif. So and so eight Khalif. The Tracy boy. I gave him warning. Okay? In a loka. Of course it does get Malchus there, right? Because it's only one eight, right? However, Amal Echad Khalifu. What if one witness came and said, It's Khalif? And eight Echonem be Suri, right? And then two witnesses, Vichu Bosh nine, and then two witnesses gave him Malchus. Came Hasra like it. Then he gets Malchus, right? Then he takes gets Malchus. Because eight Echonem be Suri to be Machzik this, sir. The two witnesses can testify to Malchus. So it says more of the Ikar Edusa. Elav be kedechodu, right? The Iker edus is it wasn't Iker edus with one eight. One eight made the Iker edus, yeah, and now the question is: is big machlok between Moshe and the second pshat of korban edus. First pshat of the korban is like Moshe. Second pshat of the korban edus is independent. I think second pshat of korban is correct. So now. What the Quran is trying to prove here? According to Moshe's, for Moshe's track, what is trying to prove out there, the Icaratus is our P.A. Echod. Yet nevertheless, it's, it sets the stage, right? So here too, the second witness who comes should be believed. Right? But the first person is not really given Eidus, this is Chaylev, he's just saying, by the way, that's... Oh, that's, a, that's a, I think Kormeidus' second shot is great. Karmaeda says in the second shot, which is the first white line, Karmaeda says here, there, even though an eight echo is believed for the Surin, he's not believed for the Malchus. And now that, and it's just like he's not believed for the Malchus over there. So to the eight echo is not believed for a moment, it's over here. Hi, the first witness would be. Yeah, but that's because of the special dispensations given by Saita to only the first witness. So Taka, the proof is according to the second shot, Karmaeda, which I think is the correct shot, that you can't you can't, just like over there, the Eidechot can be machzik the Isra, but can't give Malchus. So to the Eidechot, they can cause her not to drink. But if it's not the first aid to come, he can't cause her to lose the Ksuvah. That's what I think it's saying. Okay? So, uh, uh, similarly, Mimad Rabbi Yudah Omer, Ploini Nazir. Rabbi Yudah says, if so-and-so says, so, uh, eight, uh, if so-and-so is in Nazir, uh, eight echo comes and says, so-and-so is in Nazir, Benitma, and he came to me, he traced him on, I gave him his throw before it, and he'll like it, let's get Malkus. On the echo, if one eight said, I have Nazir at all, should know you're a Nazir. If I know you've been zero stop even, this guy said, okay, if you say I'm a Nazir, I'm a Nazir. And he conducted seven zeros. And then, Shosa Yai Benitma, he amazed me, drank wine, became to me, he amazed him, he saw Bosh Naim, and two people testified against him, like it gets Malchus. The Icaratus will obey Echod, who there too, the Icaratus is 1 8, but that 1 8 is, doesn't uh, suffice. You need 2 8 for Malchus. Okay? Similarly, yet another case. Me mother, Rabbi Mona Omar. Rabbi Mona said, Plainus should be Kohenis, not Kadnas. So and so is a Kohenis. Vizines. Okay, 1 8 comes and says, So and so is a Kohenis, and she was Mizana. Ubala Bala. Uba, and her husband then had relations with her. Ubar Lokayin. Now, obviously, she was a Mizana before she got married. She became a Chalola before she got married. And then she got married to her husband. And her husband is a Kohen, had relations with her. Vitresi Bowen Aleka. This is 1 8, right? Not believed. Nistur Abif Nesh 9. But if she was closet in front of two, right? Ava Uba, uh, she was closet in front of two Adim, right? One A came and said that she was a Zoyna. Before the episode occurred. And then after she, he went and closeted herself, her husband, the Cohen, with her. A brief next time. Omar Echor Ani Reisi Shunit Meis. Uba Baalea Cohen. No, I'm sorry. Nisra Brief next time is not your main here. I, I maybe we can even take it out. So, so the, the the main thing is the second the next part of it. Okay, the bottom line is same idea as before. And Eid Echo is believed to say that this is a Kohen of Shizinsa. But he's not believed to give her Malchus. We need two people to come later on and say that they saw the husband Mizan to have religion sir in order to give the husband Malchus. The gears here is choppy. I, I, I really should have paid more attention to it. But it, the idea is the same as before. If you just take out the words Nisar Rif Nesh Naim, it m- runs much more freely. It's, it's not enough. 
he threw both shnayim, only if two gave a straw, then like it. He reduced a little bit echoed, so the case is one eight, it's not sufficient. You have to have two eight in visibly the local malchus. So as I said, I really, uh, uh, just to, very briefly, all the question asked, how come the Rambam didn't bring this down? This whole discussion here about the second eight, right, is the Rambam bringing it down. And the Ritvaz wants to be Miyashim his way, very long. And the Achiezer wants to say, Chaim Ezer wants to say, it's my cloak is bowed in Yerushalmi. Um, and, uh, we'll have, uh, the, uh, in the Gdorim, in the parameters of the Nehmonas of the Adim here, which uh, I found a little bit difficult to stomach. So I don't really have a good answer. I thought I did. And that's the words I thought, not so good. But anyway, I'll tell you anyway. Which is in the Franco Rambam brings down that the old Girsa in the Rambam was that the five women who testify against her, the five women who hate her, they testify against her. They're believed uh, 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 to to be after her and her husband, and that she shouldn't drink. The the old gilsa was avalolaf sida miksuvasa, but not to cause her to lose her ksuva. That was the gilsa in the in the in the sif, in the printed books. The Frankel brings down a gilsa from the kisvayat avalola pasla miksuvasa, which is actually what it says over here. Not to parcel her from her ksuba. That's actually what it says in the Mishnah here. So I was thinking, what's the difference between the girsos of lafsid lo lafsid ksuvasa or lo lapaslam ksuvasa? So maybe what the Rambam is trying to say is that the, that which the Torah believed eight echel uh, kishnayim uh, by soita means the first eight who came on her tuma, right? The first eight. So, like I said before, so if the first eight is one of the psulos, right, then it's not just that they're not believed to cause her to lose her ksuva, but they're not believed to passel her from her ksuva, meaning that she loses the capacity ever to lose, to, to, to be lo- to lose her ksuva. In other words, we're to say that they're not believed to have ksuvasa, so maybe the next guy to come along would be believed to have ksuvasa. Right? If the mother does not believe him, maybe the second aid. Well, the Rambam is using the Lushen, though, that they're not believed. Lepasla Miksuv also means that it's a, she can never become Pasla from Miksuva. Once the first witness didn't do the job, so then she can't lose her, her, her rights to Miksuva afterwards. So I, I, I don't know if what I'm saying is true. Could just be a bunch of baloney. Probably just a bunch of baloney. But that's what I want to say. Zimit between lafsidok ksuva. So if it says they not believe lafsidok ksuva, it means it sounds like they can make a loser ksuva, but the next guys can't. The next one witness would count, like Rabba ba, Rabun Barchia proposes. But if it says that the, they're not believe lepasla miksuva, so it sounds like you get one chance to pass a little from a ksuva. You get one shot. And if you don't make it on that shot, to pass her from Ruxuba, nobody else can pass her from Ruxuba later on. So see what I'm trying to draw a distinction? Okay. That's the best I could hope for. Okay, says the Mara for says Mr. Further. Shayabitin. It will logically dictate it. Uma im Aidu Sarisha and Shaino Saras Isa Olam. The first testimony, meaning about the the stigo, doesn't go ask her forever. And it's kept because the only answer is there until she drinks. And it is kept as according to Rabbi Yeshua. It does in the Gemara. I'm going to make this clear. And it's kept as possible. We have to have two witnesses. And it's Achroina. The answer is that she was Tmeil. She was sorry to Israel, which makes her answer forever. She's got to get divorced, whether she gets a kuzuv or not. She's got to get divorced. And it did show this time. But Paul's Mishnah should certainly not require two witnesses. Talmud Lorma at the post says the aid ain't ba achidish. Once you have kin and any aid who comes along, even a woman, asks her. And she has to get divorced and she has to go out. Right? So let's work it backwards. So let's go back to the first Vedas and say, Kavachomer. Umay made us Achroina the last testimony meeting on her Tumor. Shilasaki, so which makes us forever. Harem is Kamas made Echod, one witness, and even a woman is enough. The original testimony on Stira, Shano Sati is which does make her answer forever. She can still drink the Saita waters, right? Is that Kavachomer, the one with it should be enough? Tamulama, that it says, 
Kimatsa Bayervas Tavar. No. There are Taka moments it's not enough. Why? Because it says about Aiden Stila that it's Matsa Bayervas Tavar. Ulan Omer, it says elsewhere in Taylor, Apishnaim Aiden, Apishlo Shaidim Yakum Dover. Based on two or three, and this is Yakum Dover. Dover, Dover, Xero Shava. My Dover, Amur, Lalon, Apishnaim Aiden. Just like over there, it's gone two witnesses. Av Dover, Amur Khan. Apishnaim Aiden. It's got to be the two witnesses. So it's Xero Sarkasim. Aiden Stila, Aiden Stila has to have two witnesses. Aiden Stuma, after Stila, even one witness suffices. Even though the Aedus Tira is only temporary till she drinks. And Aedus Tuma is permanent. She got to get divorced. Nevertheless, that's the Xerxes Kosov. Aedus or Yishorin, the Gemara says, in case you didn't understand what you're talking about in the Mishnah, Aedus or Yishorin is Zustira. That's referring to Aedus and Stira. It requires two. Aedus or is Zutuma. That requires even one, only one aid. And Masnisa, our Mishnah is the Rabbi Yishur. The Rabbi Yishur, man, Mekane, Masalu, Apishnaim, that you have to have the Mekinoli with two witnesses, Umashkul, Apishnaim. And the, to, and the Chashko and the Sira also based into witnesses. And that's what he said in the last Mishnah, that Muzaras Bilvana Kor Rabbi Shua only works for Tuma. It doesn't work uh, for, for the Sira, right? All right, Mona Rabbi says, For a filuka hain tana asya. He came and going like this tana. Who's this tana? The tana of Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda, Omer, Mishim, Rabbi Lezer, Mekani lo apiyed echo, Rabbi Yatsmo. You can even say the king is apiyed echo. Or based on his own say so. Umashka Pishnaim, but that Tana holds, that Tana holds, Rabbi Yosef holds, that Tashko, the Stira has to be based on two. So the bottom line is, Armish is going, going Tanoim, who hold that the Stira has to be with two. There are Tanoim, Rabbi Lezer, not Rabbi Yosef, but you don't name Rabbi Lezer, but Rabbi Lezer himself, who holds that it's only one on the Stira. Armish is obviously not going like him. Okay, we'll stop here for this evening. Oh, normally a Thursday night.